It's spring, and millions of birds are flying thousands of miles from their wintering grounds in Mexico, Central and South America, or the Caribbean islands, to breeding grounds in Wisconsin and beyond. Just like us, these weary travelers need a place to rest and refuel. They must find a suitable stopover habitat to survive this treacherous journey. There are many different habitats that are used because of the variety of birds. Uh, we have waterfowl and water birds that will use wetlands and open water in the case of diving ducks and some of the diving water birds like common loons and uh, grebes that use the open waters of Lake Michigan. There are also waterfowl and water birds that use wetlands that occur along the coastal areas or in association with the rivers and lakes of the, the basin. And then we have perching birds like songbirds and other birds that will perch in trees and they use the forest areas, they use wooded areas. Sometimes that could be a city park or it could be um, a place like Point Beach State Forest or Peninsula State Park. It just depends on where they are when they need to put down on what they're going to use. And these habitats are very important to them because it helps them to continue their journey. It gives them a place to rest. It gives them cover from, for protection from predators and from weather elements. If it's a really good stopover site, will provide them with enough resources for them to replace energy stores that they have used while they've been in flight. Many species rely on habitats along the shores of Lake Michigan or Lake Superior during migration. We still have a lot of habitat for migratory birds in the Lake Michigan Basin. Wisconsin is fortunate in that way. However, the habitat that's there uh, has become very fragmented by being converted to urban and agricultural uses and other land uses. And also uh, there has been degradation of many of the habitats. And some of the most heavily used stopover habitat lies within Wisconsin's five areas of concern. Areas of concern are federally designated locations that are in need of special attention because they have been severely affected by toxic contaminants and other environmental issues. These issues can limit human use, degrade habitat, and cause health problems for fish, mammals, and birds that use these areas. Tens of thousands of birds use those wetlands and forested areas uh, along the coastal area and the open waters of Green Bay. Many species also rely on stopover habitat in the Milwaukee estuary area of concern, which includes the Kinnikinick River. And right at the mouth of the river, that's a renowned place where birders go to in the spring and the fall to see migratory birds, and they get sometimes very unusual birds showing up there. Uh, we could also talk in the Lake Superior Basin, we can talk about the St. Louis River estuary, which is an extremely important site. Again, tens of thousands of birds using that site every year and just phenomenal for migration. With the help of federal funds, the Department of Natural Resources and many partners are working to clean up toxic contaminants and to restore habitat in Wisconsin's areas of concern. This work will greatly improve some of our most important stopover habitat. And what's good for the habitat is good for the birds. You know, their mortality during migration is at its highest of the whole year. It doesn't occur when they're on their breeding grounds or when they're on their wintering grounds down in the West Indies. It occurs while they are migrating. And so that gives us a good reason to be addressing all of those factors, habitat loss, fragmentation, um, degradation of the quality of the habitats, and all the other factors that affect birds and cause mortality during their migration. The more we can do to limit that, the, the better our chances are of turning around some of the declining population trends that these birds have been experiencing for a number of decades now. If we can connect, make connecting corridors for them and improve the quality of these habitats, uh, I think that it will go a long way towards uh, helping some of the populations that are struggling right now to survive.